Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Striton City. In today's episode, we actually have quite a bit to do. First of all, we are going to make our way to the trainer school. You guys told me to head in here because our good old buddy Sharon is probably going to be in here waiting to talk to us. And there he is. Let's go ahead and do it. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Hey, Rodri, have you come looking for the gym leader? And yes, we have. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Rodri, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Alright, let's go for it. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Here we go, Rodri versus Sharon! And it looks like we're gonna have to use items. If you guys remember, we actually picked up quite a bit of potions, which I'm guessing we're probably gonna have to use. We were challenged by Pokemon trainer Sharon, who's gonna send out Snivy, which is not good for us because he has a type advantage. Let's just hope that he doesn't mess us up too bad. Uh, hopefully I can weaken him enough to get him down, but I don't know, especially since this dude's gonna be using items on us. All right, let's go for the tackle right away then. That actually isn't doing a whole lot. We'll see how much his super effective move does to us. And he, okay, he lowered our defense, that's fine. Let's keep going for the tackles then. If we can get him about halfway before he really starts attacking us, then I think we'll be okay. He does have two Pokemon though. We only have Roran at this point. So we're gonna see what that does. He's going for another Leer. Oh man, this dude's really trying to bash us early, which is not good for us. Let's go for the tackle then. And hopefully you can do this. Let's see how much that gets him down to. Okay, that's half. That's not bad at all. And what, what the heck is he doing to us? He's just trying to weaken us as much as possible. If this dude lands a one-hit KO, I'm going to be pretty PO'd. Okay, we almost got him. He went for another Leer. Okay, he's battling uh, very bad right now. Let's go for the tackle. And if we land this, that should be it. Okay, Snivy is down. He didn't even attack us. Didn't think that was going to happen, but okay, it did. Next up is Purloin, which have, we've actually battled before. I guess this must be like a popular Pokemon. It's important to choose which Pokemon with your abilities. Okay, let's go for the Water Gun. We took down Ents Purloin pretty easily, so we'll see if we can do the same to this one. Okay, yeah, that actually did like half of its health and damage, so this should be pretty easy to take down. All right, went for a Leer. Let's just finish this up. Let's clean up this battle already because we have quite a bit to do today. All right, here we go for the Water Gun, and that's going to go ahead and take down the Purloin. Fantastic. It was only level 8. wasn't too bad. All right, we gained 111 XP points, pushes up to level 11, and we also learned Water Sport. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Sharon. I see. Losing to you means that I will still have to, a lot to learn. We got 800 for winning. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here, Rodri. I'll give you these berries. So we obtained some orange berries. I didn't know if there were berries in this game, but that's pretty cool. I guess we do. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when the, its HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. All right, see you later, Sharon. Next up, you guys actually hinted me quite a bit that we need to make our way to the Dream Yard because it's going to be crucial to our success in the gym. Uh, I think it's over here somewhere. I keep forgetting that we can run. Let's check this. It says Dream Yard Ahead, a place for novice trainers. All right, let's make our way there then and see what is in store for us. We've made it to the Dream Yard, and it looks like we have a battle up ahead. So let's go ahead and do this very quickly. All right, great, so we defeated that trainer. Let's see what else is in store for us here. Uh, this is a weird looking place. There's like a swamp pool. I don't even know what that is, like a pool of mud. And it, it seems like we have another battle. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, great, so we're level 12, and it looks like there's another trainer over here, which we might not have to battle, so I'm gonna go ahead and dodge that. We found an X-Defend. Okay, that's great. Am I headed in the right direction? I really have no idea. Uh, let me run around here. 
I think I might be going the wrong way then. Maybe I was supposed to cross something. Let me go down here very quickly and just run around and see where I'm going. Maybe I didn't even have to battle those two. All right, let me talk to this chick. I think this might be it. Hey, hey, you! Who was the first Pokemon you received? Oshawa, really? Then Pansier could be a big help. Your Oshawa does not do well against Grass-type Pokemon. Say, do you want this Pansier of mine? And yes, we do. That is actually why we're here. Okay, here you go. It can use Fire-type moves, so that makes it hot against Grass-types. And we received Pansier. So we actually needed to do this because Pansier is an elemental monkey that is going to help us against the first gym. We are going to give it a nickname. And uh, as if you can actually see what it looks like, it actually looks like it has these little mittens on its hand, so that's what we're actually gonna call this Pokemon. Now, this Pokemon isn't gonna be a permanent team member for us, but we are gonna use him uh, for the gym. So let me go ahead and call it Mittens very quickly, and then we can keep on going. If you have any types of Pokemon, something will work out, no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. All right, guys, let's make our way back now, and now we can actually go to the gym and hopefully have some success because otherwise, according to what you guys told me, we would have been, uh, hurting. Alright, I think it's in here. Yes, yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are right. You want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Oshawott, I see. It's weak against grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Alright, let's head inside then. And that guy seems like the one we're going to have to battle. And very sweet, we are inside of our first gym. Hello, I am Clyde. I'm the guy for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. And we received the fresh water. Probably heals us, uh, is my guess, because it went into the medicine. All right, let's walk inside then. And we stepped on the wrong switch. Okay, did not think it was going to be switches. And what is this? Is there some sort of combination? Okay, there must be some sort of combination. The first one is water. I have no idea why. Okay, next up. It looks like we have a trainer battle. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Welcome to Striton Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. All right, let's go ahead and do this then. Why not take out some trainers? Maybe we'll actually learn something from them. We are challenged by Waiter Maxwell. Only has one Pokemon, and it's a Lily Pup. Uh, we should be able to do good against a Lily Pup. It is level 11, though, which isn't too good for us, since it might be able to put some more damage than I expected, and I don't really want to be... Weaken down too much before we go into our first gym battle. Okay, we hit a crit. That was actually pretty good. I'm going to go for the tackle then. I don't really want to use up that many water guns. And that should pretty much take down this Lily Pup, giving us a bunch of XP. And with that, we have gone up to level 13. I really wish that this Pokemon wasn't too type advantage. Okay, do we really want to use focus energy? Yeah, I'm going to keep my old moves. I don't really want to learn anything for it. We're going to give up on focus energy. And let's keep on going, then. We defeated Waiter Maxwell. You, you're a trainer with a lot of pepper. All right, great. We got 440 for winning. And now we can keep moving on. I'm guessing this one is going to be fire. Yes. Okay. No, it's not. What the heck? Oh, okay. You have to put its weaknesses. That's what it is. Makes sense, since that's what's happening in the gym. I guess this did have a little bit more puzzle than I thought. And we have another battle. This time, it looks like it's a waitress. The specialty is right on Jim, the full course trainer deluxe. I'm your second course. So we're going to be eating her. Okay, yeah, that's great. All right, let's go ahead and take on this lady then. Fantastic. We were challenged by Waitress Tia, who has two Pokemon. The first one being a Pat Rat. Ah, these, these aren't too bad for us. They're only normal type, so they should be quite easy. All right, let me just go ahead and throw out our water guns. Our best move right now, and we should be able to take down her two Pokemon without too much trouble. It went for a bite. That, that's nice to have. I wish we had bite, actually. Kind of sucks only having tackle right now. Hopefully, we learn some better moves as we go on. And Pat Rat is holding on there with, like, nothing. That's fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and go for the tackle. And we are probably going to have to switch out to Mittens. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's switch Pokemon. Give Mittens a chance to show what's going on here. All right, let's go ahead and do this then. Since this is probably going to be the only gym that we use Mittens, might as well get him out here uh, and, and get him, gain him some XP before the freaking showdown. All right, Incinerate. Holy crap. All right, let's go for that. I have no idea what that does, but it sounds cool as heck. So I'm sure it'll do quite a bit of damage on this Purloin. Let's see how much that did. That did nothing. Great. I have no idea what type Purloin is. I'm guessing it's like a dark something. I have no idea. I'm going for the scratch. 
We'll see how much that does to it this time. We're both level 10s. Okay, that did about what I expected. Let's keep going for the tackles then. I'm definitely going to heal up our Pokemon before we take on the gym leader. Because if not, we're probably going to be hurting. Alright, this thing is actually doing quite a bit now. We are down to like 11 HP. And with that, have we took it down? Yes, we have. Okay, cool. I think next up is the gym leader. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon now before we make our way past that last curtain. I think that'll be the best thing to do. All right, let me go to my medicine. Where is my medicine? Oh, my goodness. Why is there no... Okay, there are the potions. I don't know why I couldn't see them there for a second. All right, let's heal up mittens. Yeah, 31 HP. That's fine. Whatever. We'll, we'll go 32. Oh, wait. Are you telling me you can double-click potions now? Sweet. You don't have to click them one by one anymore. All right, that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay. And next up will be the fire type. And that is great. The curtains have opened. And it looks like it's our time to face our first gym battle. I'm very excited for this. Welcome to the Strychon City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with fire type Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silen. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here as well, uh... Oh, enough! Listen up! The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case! And the partner you first chose was Water-type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my Grass-type Pokemon will, um, we're gonna battle. Come, come what may. Alright, so I guess we are ready to do this, and let's go ahead and talk to him. So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything I've got into being, er, uh, you know, your opponent. Alright, here we go, Rodri versus Silen! Alright, let's go ahead and do this. I don't know how many Pokemon this guy's gonna have, but it looks like he has two. We are challenged by Leader Silen, and we're gonna see who sends out. He's gonna send out Lillipup, so it was good for us to have Oshawott up in front. I guess we'll be needing Mittens for the next Pokemon. Lillipup is level 12. Wow, I'm actually a little bit nervous for this. Alright, let's go for the Water Gun right away then. And see how much it does to this lily pup. It's level 12, so it's a bit stronger than the Pokemon we have been fighting. It did not fully take it down in half, so we are probably going to be in for a fight. Especially since I'm guessing uh, they're going to have some potion stuff. Ah, my Pokemon! Alright, let's go for the tackle then. Let's see if we can get it down a little bit past half. Hopefully not enough for it to start using potions. It went for the fight. And now let's go with the water gun. Yes, this will probably take down the lily pup. And with that, we'll be able to move on to Silent's second Pokemon, uh, which is pretty great. Okay, we gained a ton of XP. We are at level 14. We are gaining levels like crazy. And Silent is going to send out Pansage. So let's go ahead and switch Pokemon then and bring out Mittens. All right, Mittens, let's do it. This is uh, your time to shine. So let's hope that you can take out this other monkey. All right, let's go ahead and do this then. Mittens is out. Silent's going to send out Pansage. And Pansage is the Grass-type monkey. Huh? Could it be? Could I only have one Pokemon left? I don't know, dude. If you can count, then by all means, you only had two to start. All right. The Silence Pokemon Pansage is going for a workup, and it's Attack Rose. Great. By all means, you know what? Raise your attack. It's not going to do a whole lot to us. I'm just going to burn you down. All right. Please do a lot of damage. Yes, it did, and it was a crit. Fantastic. Let's just keep, in keep incinerating this thing. Um, if we could land another good hit like that, then it would pretty much be done. Uh, which would be pretty great, because I'm excited to get our first, uh, badge. Alright, super effective. I think with this one, we should be able to take it down, because I guess this guy isn't gonna heal up his Pokemon. Okay, by all means, don't heal up your Pokemon. And let's go for that Incinerate. Oh my goodness, it's holding on by, like, 2 HP. Of course. Now he goes for the potion, which is probably gonna force me to use a potion. Alright, let me just go for this. You know what? Maybe I won't have to use a potion. We'll see how much the Vine Whip does this time around. I'm going to keep going for the Incinerate. It's going to go for the Vine Whip. Hopefully, it does a little bit less than 14. Okay, I'm going to have to heal up after this one. Oh, that's too bad. I was really hoping we were going to take down this Pokemon without having to heal up. All right, let me go into my bag then, because if not, we are going to get taken out. I have three potions left, so good for us. All right, let's heal up. After this one, we should be able to take out the Pansage without any trouble at all since we're almost at full health. All right, it went for the Vine Whip, and now we should finish it off here with this Incinerate after the Vine Whip. Okay, great, do your thing, Pantsage, because you're about to get burned. 
All right, we went for the incinerate. And with that, are we gonna take down this Pansage? And we have super effective. Pansage has fainted. We gained a whole ton of XP, 349 XP. We've grown to level 11. And we defeated Leader Silent. Er, is it over now? We got 1680 for winning. What a surprise, you are very strong. Seems like not even Chili or Chris could beat you. And there we go, guys. Looks like we have got our first badge. It looks pretty nice, uh, unlike other badges. Pretty sweet. And there we go, it puts it in the case. That's freaking awesome, never seen that before. And we received the trio badge from Silent. That's one badge down, seven more to go here in the Unova region. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. We obtained TM83 Workup. That is the TM that its monkeys were using in battle. TM83 contains Workup. If you use Workup, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. In the Unova region, we are still novice gym leaders, which means the other gym leaders are much stronger than we are. We'll need to work hard and improve. All right, guys, so it looks like we have defeated our first gym leader and obtained our first badge. That is pretty awesome. Let's make our way out of here then because that is all that we can do in here. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. I. Uh, this is the friend that Professor Juniper was talking about. You're gonna meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs. Here, come on, go upstairs. What is she gonna give us upstairs? Should I call that waitress again? So like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. We obtained HM01 Cut. That is our first HM. I guess we'll be using that very soon. There's some moves that a Pokemon can use even when it is not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach a Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree, and you can use the hidden machine as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favor too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Stryton City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon there called Mona gives off. With that, I'll be able to use GameSync to collect save files of various trainers. Alright guys, so it seems like we have another task on our hands. And that is something we're going to have to do in the next episode. Because we have done everything we can do for today. A lot of exciting stuff. We got our first gym badge. And now we also have to make our way back to the Dream Yard. So if you guys have any tips on the upcoming events, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.